Yes. All right, we're going live. Just confirm on my desktop. Uh, I'll have a look if it's if we're on. Yeah, it should be there. Yep, perfect. All righty, welcome, welcome. This is the Ripple Effect of Resonance, where I bring on lots of different guests, really from all different backgrounds, to come on and talk about how they've been introduced to the quantum frequency device and really just their personal story um, in terms of coming across it, what their lives have been like since they've been introduced to it. Um, this is Catherine X. Godwood, and super excited to have you come on and share your story. And like um, any time I sort of bring people onto the show, I certainly say that um, this is her personal story. And so the device doesn't claim to cure, treat or heal anybody, um, but certainly has had, um, you know, amazing stories um, through people's journey. So thanks so much for coming on and yeah, coming on and sharing your story. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you oh, my for having me. <laughs> Super excited. So how about we kick it off by, um, yeah, just hearing about what life was like in the lead up to, you know, your year uh, that's been. Yeah. So maybe I kind of backtrack. So I'm a Swiss physio. Okay. came to Australia 15 years ago. So I was born here, grew up in Switzerland, came oh, cool back 13 years ago and couldn't work or I would have had to go through all these um, tests you know and oh. beauty and but I have three small kids and at yeah. that time I was a single parent you know and so I had a baby oh. and um, so I just decided look I don't want to put my kids in before school after school and <laughs> one of my other friends did it um and it was just really, really hard. And I was just like, Ugh, I, yeah, I don't yeah. have the energy. I'm just going to be a mom and do my thing. So so not being able to be a physio with a good income, you know, um, coming to Australia, I was kind of like, all right, what am I going to do? So I went into massaging and yoga teaching and all the things, you know, I tried <laughs> everything, but nothing was a sustainable income and so maybe mm. fast forward to last mm. year um or even beginning of this year i was doing hypnosis emotional clearing online mainly mm -hmm. you know doing really good work for good people yeah. <laughs> but struggling so i had to go mm. cleaning like it yeah, just, okay. you know, because just you to get by your, yeah, yeah you just got to pay your bills and um and feed your kids and sometimes yeah. i'd even have to ask my cleaning boss like hey Margie can you please transfer the money you know with the new OSCO payments like yeah. can you transfer it now like oh, wow. that, you know yeah. that's kind of that where I was yeah. yeah um and um so yeah so then I went right that's it I'm done with being broke I'm a freaking physio <laughs> <Yeah>. um <laughs> you know something's got to change and I had tried to do that over all those years, but you kind of also get a bit exhausted because yeah. you've, you're doing all the things plus parenting on your own, plus, you know, yeah. going to work plus everything <laughs> and you're still broke, you know, that's the frustrating part. Yeah. And um, so then um, I spoke to one of my friends who had just graduated as an osteopath and he was saying that he was going to be earning really good money. And I was like, right. I don't care. I'm going to, you know, study hard for five years, but then at least I'll be making like, you know, good money. Mm. So I started studying osteo and was studying 30 hours a week. Oh, plus, wow. um, and then two weeks later, Corona happened or, you know, the lockdown happened. Yeah. So three kids. So a 16 year old, 15 year old and oh. an 11 year old were oh. all at home. We're in a two bedroom unit. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh. trying to study, you know, like human anatomy, physiology, yeah. like all the difficult things. Yeah. Um, and um, and they're all at home, you know, and whilst they're really awesome kids, it's still distraction, distraction. Yeah. And at the same time, Healy kept kind of coming into my field and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't have time. <laughs> um, I've done online business before. It's just not my thing. I'm not good at it. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. But, but it just kept coming and it, I'd read about it and I'd be like, ah. And then I thought, look, look, I'm going to get it. I'm skeptical. 
because I was, you know, the first time someone told me, Rachel mm. told me about it, I was like, look, I have the healing inside myself. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm on a spiritual path. You know, I meditate every day. I do <laughs> breath work. I do yoga. Yeah. I'm the healy. I don't need some machine uh-huh. to do it for me. True, true. Go away, you know, kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and But still I'd hear stuff and I was like, oh, you know, and then I went, look, you know, I eat healthy food, but I also take supplements sometimes, you know. Uh-huh. So I thought, well, do you know what? If I'm on this journey to becoming an osteopath, I'll start also doing massages again and working with people. And then if this Healy is as good as it says it is, you know, that could help my clients. Mm. So I thought, right, I'm going to get it. I have two week money back guarantee. If it's shit, yeah. I'll send it back. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me right. saying. <laughs> no, I got <laughs> So I got it and I didn't have any physical, I don't, I didn't really have any problems, but I I got it more to help my people. Mm. That's kind of just what, who I am and what I do. And, um, and one of my friends said, Oh, I, I have such a sore tooth. I like, I can't even drink water. I'm like, right, I'll bring the Healy, download the app, use it, give it back when you're done. Mm. Well, actually, we even didn't know at the time. We, I thought she could only have it on my phone. So I actually gave oh. her my phone for the day oh, <laughs> and the night. So yeah. I didn't even have a phone. <laughs> um, and by nighttime, she said, hey, so in the morning, can't drink water. By nighttime, I'm eating dinner. Oh, awesome. I'm like, wow. You know, my <laughs> mind was blown. She, she still went to the dentist later. Yeah. Then uh, another friend couldn't walk for a week, back pain. Um, I'm like, hey, I'll bring the Healy. So she, by then I knew she could download the app. <laughs> she downloaded <laughs> it. And um, I just said, look, just use it, see what happens. So the next morning she said, oh, wow, I just had the best night's sleep I haven't been sleeping because I was in so much pain Mm -hmm. you know again I'm not making any claims I'm not allowed to make any claims this is just my story and the people I gave it to their story yeah and then five days later she was walking again and you know she'd been not walking for a week and Ah. in severe pain and Mm. so you know to me it was like what what is this thing because you know when you have it in your hand you think what you know this piece of plastic what is it and um yeah and so then because also because I was taking so many notes from studying I was writing for hours you know whilst watching videos and so one morning I couldn't move my arm like I could lift it up like this and then it would just you know be so painful and, and then I had to drive somewhere and just driving. I was like in tears mm. because it was so painful. Mm. So I put the Healy on myself and um, by nighttime it was still hurting and I, I was disappointed. I thought, ah, it, it, do- yeah, it <laughs> yeah. doesn't work for me. Next morning, wake up and I'm like, no pain, full <laughs> range of motion. And that's kind of when it landed for me. It's like, nice. okay. I've seen all these people and now I get it. Yeah. Because as a physio, I know inflammation phase is three to four days. Mm-hmm. It, and even if something did get better, you still have this inflammatory soup that has to be reabsorbed. Mm-hmm. It's not gone in a night. Yeah. So that's where it kind of landed. We're like, whoa, something's different. This is epic. So yeah, from then on, I just, I'd, I think I put it on everyone and like I'd even I had my Healy and then I didn't have it for seven weeks because <laughs> because someone needed it more than I did. And yeah, yeah. I think my generosity with no attachment. So I had no attach I'm like, yeah, I'm just helping here. Yeah. So then everyone who tried one, pretty much everyone just bought it because they could feel it and they wanted okay. it. And then I um yeah, that's just that's just how it kind of the ripple effect, you know, yeah. <laughs> of helping and and not having attachment. 
and just doing it you know the gift is in the giving mm, true, and true. but then some of those people like you know Leah Steele mm. I helped her because she had back pain and then you mm. know she saw also later on the business opportunity and you know people can either do it or not that's the cool mm. thing you don't have to do the business yeah you can just buy it for yourself but so I kind of you know some people who also were healers, practitioners, coaches, who also had the experience, saw the opportunity and ran with it. And then suddenly I was making all this money and I was like, is this, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just being me. I'm just helping. <laughs> um, and so then needless to say, after three months, I dropped uni because I was just so busy with, with Healy and, flying to Sydney to, to, you know, do little events and, and, and help people basically. So now that's just what I do. I kind of lie at the beach and I'm like, Ooh, am I even allowed to not do anything, you know, because when you're years and years of struggle and just, you know, just to make ends meet. And now it's like, ah, oh, you know, there's always more than enough, more than enough. And yeah, it's changed my life. Mm. um not only financially but i can just see the ripple effect is it has on others mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and how long ago was it when you started uh that was in february end of okay. feb yeah obviously we're now in november so that's nine months, nine months. So, yeah. yeah so yeah. obviously quite a few areas of your life have shifted which is fantastic mm. And so what would you um, say Healy is for anybody that's, you know, listening in and listening to your story for the first time and, and don't really actually understand when you say Healy what it is, what would be your interpretation of it? I always say Healy, I always say don't give your power away. Mm. You are the Healy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, Healy only helps you maybe reignite that the knowing of it. Mm -hmm. that you are your Healy yes that I find that really important because I don't want people to be like oh the Healy and then oh no my you know it's not working and then they get stressed yeah. because they're attached and mm. you know I'm all about like no <laughs> the power is always here um true so that's number one but then the Healy for me it's an energy supplement mm. so it's like you know um we have energy in our body, but we still eat food, <laughs> you know, to get energy <laughs> or um, we do breath work to increase our energy and same with the Healy. So the Healy helps balance your electromagnetic field. In mm -hmm. Healy speak, we say bioenergetic field, but I think normal people don't understand no, that. So, no. you know, it just, it just balances your energy basically mm. right down to the cells. and. Um, yeah, for myself, because I didn't have physical symptoms besides my shoulder at that time, I would have said it creates using it regularly, like daily, it created flow for me. I was more in flow. Things just started, you know, like without efforting. Mm. I, or I'd, um, and this might sound a bit woo woo. I'm, <laughs> for some people, I'm probably very woo woo. <laughs> But I'm very grand. I'm a mom, you know, I have three kids. I'm like yeah. a <laughs> householder. But I felt like I'm, I've always been intuitive, but I felt like it cleared the channel. Like I'd know stuff mm. that, and I was like, oh, why do I know this? Mm. Um, and then I gave it away for seven weeks and that kind of went away again. And then when mm. I got it again, it kind of came again. I was like, oh, interesting. That's That must be the Healy. Mm. Um, so, nice. yeah um i've you know i've i've just set up someone today it's in sydney again like i and i have three healies and they're <laughs> all out you know uh one of my friends dad is in england and he's in hospital she can't get to him and she's super stressed and mm. she has all sorts of stresses she said i can't sleep i'm stressed i'm really a nervous wreck and i'm like use the healy yeah and i kind of thought she's also very you know switched on 
analytical mind you know I'm more like yeah I'll give it a try you know she's more like she knows all her stuff and she's a very you know like professional woman <laughs> and um and she messaged me and she said I sleep better I feel calmer mm. you know the situation's still the same but it's yeah. just instead of, of having these emotions <laughs> or her or her body having these you know I can't sleep or I'm stressed yeah. I can't sleep you know like it's just, I'd say it's, it's a, you know, when you have the bell curve, it just mm. balances everything out. So yeah. it certainly does help you flow through, you know, even as you, I've certainly felt that myself where, you know, things will be happening on the outside, but it's really allows you to be grounded through all sorts of things that could be happening, whether it's, you know, our lockdown here in Melbourne or whatever it is, it allows you to kind of be a little bit detached and just in your, in in flow but in your own kind of world and not kind of too caught up in you know a lot of things that are going on and responding in a more calm or you know more at ease centered. yeah centered it's probably the word yeah so coming back to yourself mm. so really which is where you started <laughs> yes and and you know um i still get up every morning meditate for one hour mm. do some breath work um and then put on my healy because yeah. now and after giving it away for that long I was like yep yeah, pure is my favorite it's just <laughs> such a nice oh, it's so nice um yeah I, I think yeah that's probably it in a nutshell it mm, just yeah brings you back to yourself and kind of you know speaking about that that's what I was going to say before you know Marcus Schmieker the quantum physicist who invented it he was a monk for 12 years so you know it, and that's why he created time waiver and then healy um to allow people to feel wholeness and wellness within themselves mm. and certainly knowing that frequency was the influencer in so much of that shift to coming back into us whether that's let's say frequency through food or through water or through sunshine or whatever it is, you know, frequency is having such a big influence on how we can go from one state to, you know, another state of you know, consciousness or whatever you want to call it, just that shift and knowing that if I can apply frequencies in this manner, then that gives such a phenomenal impact into shifting whatever's you know, potentially going on physically, emotionally and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and maybe even more like I'm a big believer of, you know, you hear, hear all the, oh, you know, just high vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. To me, it's actually I don't agree at all with that. I agree with if you can hold yourself in your lowest and hold yourself in your highest or love yourself in your lowest yeah. of low and highest yeah. of high in the totality mm -hmm. of who yeah. we are and what this life is, that's freedom. And I think maybe, you know, with people putting the Healy on or meditating or breathwork or, you know, whatever yep. works for you. For me, surfing, you know. Being oh, is it? Ocean, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, nice. Something that brings you joy is kind of like, um, oh, yeah, using the Healy is kind of maybe you'll, you're still going through something really difficult, but maybe you can come to more acceptance. Mm. Yeah, good or you might be mm. overweight but you can love you. I remember I was in the shower the other day and I was like looking at my legs and, you know, I'm 44, I'm not 20 anymore. Yeah, and yeah. I super I get it. Kind of looked at, you know, like my cellulite on my legs and then something just went. But what if you don't love yourself? Who's going to love you? Mm. You know, and it's kind of like, I'm not saying this is the Healy, but I do see people who, maybe have nothing to do with spirituality because that's not the only way you know there's, oh, for sure. there's, yeah, there's many, many ways things. to yes. roam yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah i don't know for my just to come into more acceptance and love for yourself first because that's the only thing you can really change so important that self-love yeah. paradigm is such a critical part in so much of you know how we show up and feel about the world and 
see the world, you know? Yeah. So what excites you now moving forward in relation to Healy and, you know, being part of this new, you know, movement or opportunity for a different way of support? Mm. It excites me that, you know, before if I wanted to help someone, I'd kind of like have to sell them a session or, or mm. you know, or like a packet, you know, eight weeks work with me. Like I still do that. And, yeah. and but, but that's the cool thing. I've felt now people come to me because they want to work with me mm. and, and, and I don't have to sell this session in order to survive. So yeah. <laughs> the sessions are more powerful and transformative for the people even more because mm. it's coming from a pure place. So I guess that excites me for myself. And obviously that I, I remember the first time I got petrol and I could just fill it up without having to look mm. at, oh no, up to 50 bucks. And then that's, yeah. too, you know, any more is too much. It was like, mm -hmm. it was like, so, yeah. something so I get small. It, I've been there too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're like, yeah, full <laughs> tax. <laughs> um so you know that's cool that like my life's shifted and of course yeah. my kids life and and that we can just you know spend more and mm -hmm. and also for me I've always been big on contribution so and I've always when I even had nothing I've always given where I could so mm -hmm. I think it's like Healy is an amplifier money is an amplifier mm -hmm. if you're a good person yes more money is you're just gonna give more you know mm -hmm um and do more good so that excites me and and i think you know if, for myself being broke all my life or not you know after yeah. coming to australia yeah. not being able to work as a physio yeah. you know i feel like if i can do it you can too and but certainly you have to make an effort. You can't just, oh, yeah, let's do this. It's a get-rich-quick scheme. No, it's oh, not. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, I think you have to come from a, a heart-centred space and the desire to help and support people. Mm. And, I mean, I thought it was just a little side thing, you know, that I could then offer my osteo clients. Yeah, down the track. Yeah. And, you know, when when they kind of say, you know, the universe will show up in a way and it'll be even better than you dreamed. And because I always had this thing, I'm so grateful that I get to travel the world and get paid really well to be me. Mm. And, okay, the travel part is maybe not so much right now. <laughs> good, but that's right. I travel on the inside <laughs> daily. To the beach. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> and internally. Um, but... Um, yeah, I, I guess it excites me to see that something so simple can have such a huge impact on myself and people in my team and the mm -hmm. whole community. And yeah, to just see, I don't know, like how much positive things, the ripple effect, you know, you can choose to take this and do whatever you want with it. Yeah, but like people use it on pets you know like, <laughs> i know i've seen that the horses and the dogs and it's amazing I know. <laughs> you know it's just literally you can do with it whatever you want and that excites me i don't like the dogmatic stuff you know i yep. feel like we create our reality and 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 this obviously is a an amazing opportunity to to do so so yeah what excites you about healy <laughs> I, I I love it because it's a different. Well, one, it just it it can help so many different people. Um, you know, people going through different things in their life, whether it's mental and you know emotional, whether it's physical, whether it's aged, whether it's you know younger. Um, I really feel like there's a place for it in so many people's homes and well, so many homes. Um, that excites me. It excites me that people can almost what you said. Um, can really do whatever they want with it, you know, whether it's just me and I just need to, you know, work through my own stuff going on in my own world, whether you want to create the level of freedom or, you know, 
for me, I can show up exactly who I am. I get to, you know, pour love into people that really are looking for shift and change in their life. And this can support them in many different ways, whether it's the financial, whether it's the personal experience that they're really desperately trying to work through. You know, some people are going through some really deep stuff. This year has brought up a lot of stuff. Um, it gives hope to, you know, I've done a couple of interviews now. And so when you listen to, you know, Nikki's interview with, you know, her relief that she got through the migraines and then Anita and just, you know, I had another guy on who, you know, talks about his personal experience with cerebral palsy and just the inner shift that he's had. And, you know, that there's just, and then they've gone on to create a, a support page for people with disability to be able to use, you know, Healy in their life. So I think there's just so many different ways, whether it's trauma, whether it's like something that's really present in somebody's life now, you know, so many people are losing jobs. So the business opportunity from home that allows people to really create a new way of doing life. And maybe they might've seen things before, but they may not have been open to looking at them. And this year has really shifted how people are able to, yeah, really step into something um, that they can play with. Um, you know, the whole thing is a playground, you know, how you want to, you know, show up, how you want to, you know, doing these interviews is what I choose to do because I want to share the stories. But, you know, how you share and how you impact people, I still feel like the greatest thing I can do is just help people change their lives. And so if I can do that through this and then, you know, help in a bigger way, then that makes me super fulfilled and satisfied and happy. Um, and so it's, I mean, it's been a complete shift in my life. You know, I lost my job in a corporate GM role. I had nothing to turn to back in the end of April. It was just the thing that happened to cross my path at the right time. Right. So it was, was that because that. of COVID? Yeah, completely. So I right. lost my job. It was like, here's two weeks redundancy. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it was like, you got nothing else to look for. And I literally was like, I've, and back then they were talking about, you know, at least one to two years before the employment situation improves. And I'm like, well, I've either got to run with this or not, but I'm, I actually only intentionally um, at the start got it just for personal use. I thought, oh, it would be great with anxiety and just like stress of just going, I'm a single mom, two kids. I'm like, how am I going to provide for my children during a time in the world that like, far, you know, far less opportunities to try and even get back into something. Um, but I'd come out of, you know, this real long period of being very like a deeper spiritual path, but money was never a big part of that experience, but I knew it was available. I just couldn't crack the code. Crack it yeah, same. same. It like, yeah. I, we're all worthy of it. I always knew we're all worthy of everything we want in the world, but I just couldn't make that level of freedom happen. And so now it's like, if I look on reflection, I'm six months, this is my sixth month. It's like every part of my life has shifted. You know, I've gone through personal upgrade. My home's been upgraded. My kid's life feels nicer for them. Um, and I can show up and, you know, be able to help as many people as, you know, cross my path. Yeah, you know? so that, that makes me excited. That makes me excited that there's, you know, that for really so many people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a deeper level of fulfilment because it's like it's one thing to do it for yourself and keep it for yourself. Yeah. But when you can share it, yeah, it's... Um... I think up until the point now, it was all about... If I, if I had to think about, you know, the first two or three months was probably more from survival. It's like, i got to make this work. i got nothing else. And so I was just actively, you know, out there and, and sharing it and, you know, doing what I could to go and visit or whatever it is. But that shifts once there's enough you're not coming from a survival mindset anymore exactly you know? when you can shift that space of I'm not having to like I know that situation where I'm looking at my bank account going I don't even know if I can pay off for all these groceries today or not and that was real this time last year and then I got the GM role and that was just the shift that I needed but then I lost that and I'm like oh it was just in good flow but obviously the universe had better plans for me but you know, I certainly know what it's like to be at that level of just when there's nothing there, there's nothing there. It's like you just got to make a decision. But, you know, now exactly what you said about the petrol, it's like I get that. Like that's a small pleasure that just is like nice because it's like I don't have to sit there and go, I can't afford the $10 product or $20, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Just yeah, It's just not that mindset that, that sits there going, I can't afford it. Now it's like I can if I really wanted to, but it's just whether I choose to or not. 
um, on different, you know, things. But, you know, it's only the start of, I feel this. So we're only, you know, just over 18 months in as Healy. Um, yeah. When you look at the big picture, the intention from Marcus, you know, Marcus is like, he set the intention very early on around, I want this in a hundred minutes. I feel, you know, he felt if we're going to have an impact on humanity, then this needs to be in a hundred million people's homes. And so in 10 years, and I'm like, okay, cool. All right. So we're all part of some of that energetic intention, I guess. Um, and I feel like the right people are just attracted to it. Um, and if you're not, you're not. And that's cool. Like it's like it either is or it isn't. I'm not so, you know, it's like if it's meant to be for you, it will. Like if it's not, then it's not. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. Which I think is cool. Thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you know, some, I was like, yeah, oh, I that's, a, that's a good, that's a good question. But yeah, it's, I like to hear, you know, mm. what, what others. The people behind, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there's so many different people involved. Like if I look at just the community at large, like people are like, do I have to be spiritual to use this? Do I have to be like, un it's like you don't have to be anything. If you just feel like there could be some benefit to you, you don't, whether you understand it, whether you want to understand it. I've got ex NRL player who uses it, but he's. I was just going, I, I had in yeah. my mind fitness, you know, it's like yeah. there's, for sports, you know, for, yes, uh, there's like what, circulation muscle oh all, yeah performance regeneration release performance yes. stamina strength Weight. it's like yeah yeah it's like you know for a sports person there you I know. have it i know and yeah. that's what i'm you know i guess that's what i'm trying to share with different people in my team is find the niche that gets you excited if you're somebody that wants to stand for trauma stand for trauma and how that could this be impacting people who are going through something other people are you know it's like i've got another girl she's setting up the disability group because there's a need there for you yeah. know pain relief and mental pain relief yeah um, and i think too it's maybe important to add on to that that you know we're not saying oh healy's the answer if you've gone oh, through God, some no. abuse yes. or you know trauma yeah, no, no, sorry thanks you know for get the help you yeah. need go and see yes, the doctor work. go and see the professionals and use Healy as a supplement. Right. Like I say, the energy supplement. You know, I think that's really yeah. important. Yeah, no, I appreciate it because people it's not say, to... they're saying, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. It's going to be the answer to all that. No, it's not. It's, no, it's not. It's you know, if you need a tooth fixed, you yeah, better right. go to the dentist. But yeah. like my friend, you might be pain free or have less pain while you're waiting yes. to go. So, <laughs> true, true. Thank you for that. Yes, exactly. And it's not meant to yeah, excuse any of that. The, yeah real need to keep on whatever it is your program or yeah whatever it is so where to from here for you what does the next few months look like for you and your vision of this well i'm looking for a bigger house because we live in a two-bedroom unit the oh that's three exciting. kids share a room yes yeah, so you know we're crammed yeah, nice. um up here in byron bay there's a, we have like ten thousand more people because they've all come oh they Melbourne <laughs> we flooded and you guys yeah so it's <laughs> a bit them. like uh so yeah i'm definitely doing that um i'd love to go to europe to visit my dad and brother are in switzerland oh uh, cool. and my kids grandparents are in england so you mm. know i feel like there's been a few deaths, you know, mm -hmm. in close friends, um, their parents, and and I feel like right. I, I just, you know, I kind of get this thing when I'm like, I need to go uh, because now I can. It's not mm. a question of oh, I can't afford it, but it's like I want to go and spend time with people. So it's more about experiences. So and, good. Well, the travel have, component, which is what you were saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I have, uh, although I'm not too keen on traveling with masks and all that oh, yeah, work and stuff. <laughs> um, uh, and, and I have a Healy team in Switzerland. So, you know, ah, so you? Oh, cool. one of my friends, a physio and craniosacral therapist. So she oh, okay. incorporates it into her work uh, and some other people. So, you know, just, just going there and connecting with them would be cool yeah oh, awesome yeah and other than that I, I i feel like i always said you know i i 
get to travel the world and get paid really well to be me and it's kind of like my life here at home is I've kind of already set it up the way I like it that I mm. kind of live 90 seconds to the beach you know oh. I'm in a unit but I my, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my living room is huge <laughs> um, nice so yeah I, I feel like I don't know you know I'm it's interesting it's like now that my needs are met I'm not one of those people who wants more and more. And yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I, so <laughs> now I'm just kind of sitting in the question, what next? Mm, so good. Yeah. So and what would be your parting message for those who tuned in, heard your story, heard the interview and, yeah, just. Suspend your disbelief and try because you can mm -hmm. send it back if you don't like it True. Mm. in the first, you know, 14 days. Um, because that's what I did. I was skeptical. I was like, ah, there's another one of those things and uh, <laughs> I don't need that. Um, suspend your disbelief and try and listen to your soul. You, listen to yourself, your own quiet internal voice, what it wants. And it might mm -hmm. be healy and it might not. And that's cool. You know, that's, uh, I guess it's so simple. It's and fo focus on the inside focus mm. uh, that's maybe my main message the answer is in here go within it's not out there yeah and that it's really not, it's not in the money well. it's not yeah, in the money it's, well. it's not in the healy it's not in anything it's already you are already free you just don't know it mm. it's just the Okay. Or maybe maybe you do. <laughs> yeah, or maybe some people do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> All good. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on, sharing your story, wishing you, yeah, even more epicness uh, in the months and, yeah, leading forward. Yeah, to, yeah see thank you. you. Hope we catch yeah. up some I know. time somewhere, <laughs> maybe in, where is it, Munich? Yeah. <laughs> Travel. Yeah, well, I'll hopefully that goes ahead. <laughs> And yeah, maybe I want to say, you know, if, if you're interested, reach out to the wonderful interviewer <laughs> or reach out to the person who introduced you to Healy. That's kind of, yes. we like to run this with integrity. integrity. Yeah. Um, that's really important. And it would be in the, uh, how do you say, it would be in the, what Marcus would want to, that's how it works, you know. I believe that too, for sure. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Enjoy your rest of your day. Maybe have some time at the beach or get to chill out there. So thank I you. I will. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have a wonderful thank day. You thank too. you so Bye, much. Bye, everyone. See Bye. you soon. Bye.